and three times the charm. I am really back this time for good. Okay, I'm here at the estate in Rosington, and this is at this Mariah family estate. And as you can see, there's a lot going on behind me here. That's Meredith and Ruthie back there. And uh, we are here having our own little mini doodle romp. We've got puppies here from Smaralia. We've got our own dogs. Our staff have their own dogs, and they they love their dogs, and most all of them have a Smaralia dog. And so they're here today, and a lot of our dogs. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of flip the camera and introduce to you. So you all know Meredith. This is Meredith. Introduce your friends. This is my dear friend, Ruthie. She's my oldest girl. Yes. Yes, and this is Max. No, that's not Max. I thought it was Max there. I'm like, that's Noah. Over there. Noah is actually Billy's uh, number two son, right? Number two son. He's the middle of three boys, and he's our um, one of our videographers. There's Max. Yes, and so these are pretty much Meredith's kids. Yes. That's her kids right there. And Max has a new friend. Arlo has found a new friend today and that is going to be Max. But give Ruthie a hug. That's going to be your new friend too. And we've got begging Georgie here. Aww. Georgie is begging because Georgie loves food and he's like the clown here. And so Georgie is our little He's our small schnoodle. He's supposed to be extra small, not over 12, but he got over 12. <laughs> he, yes, he got older. And uh, he's, an, he's a cute little F1 schnoodle, teddy bear schnoodle. And then, all right, now we're going to introduce, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, show me. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's being a diva, Ruthie. Hey, I, I, I would do that too. If somebody would rub my feet every night before. Woo. Oh, I almost stepped on Susan. All right, these are some of our ladies that work on our dog care team. But today, they are hanging out and loving dogs at our party. So, introduce. Once again, because our connection was terrible earlier, who you've got here. Yes, and she's been a pretty good uh, model this week. She's done a lot of work. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, she's not even a year old. And then who do we have here? That's Loretta, and she said she's she's an F one B. Yeah, yeah, giant. Yeah, F one. I was thinking, was she an F one B or an F one? But she's an F one. Yeah, yeah. So that's an F one. Yeah, and so she is hanging out. She is the biggest girl here today, and you can see her just how big and beautiful she is. Look at her. And then let me see who else is over here. Who else do you have back here? Hey, Martha. Martha's here. Olivia is as well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. And she's silver and out. Look at her coat. Isn't she pretty? Hey, Seal. Hello, Ann and Sally. How are y'all? Glad to have y'all here today. So we're just making our way around. I wanted you all just to see. One of the great things that you'll see here is that all of these dogs, they don't live together. Are they there? But they all get along. They're just so good. All right, so now I'm making my way over here. Hey, Carol, we're live. We're going to introduce everybody. Introduce your friends and your family and your dog. This is Aurora. And Morgan. Yes. And this is my son, Chris. Hey, Chris. Yes, yes. We've heard some good things. Chris is going to be moving up to North Carolina, right? Yes. Yeah. Yay! Where are you going? Have you decided? No, ma'am, I haven't decided. Not yet. 
I bet. That's that's awesome to have an opportunity like that, though. And we color coordinated Miss Angie over there. Yes. With our beautiful Lucinda girl, who is yet to be named. Oh, yes, yes. We have decided to keep her, and we want to name her. She's a giant schnoodle puppy as well. Look at her tip on her tail. We should call her Tipsy. <laughs> Little tipsy because she's got a tip on her tail. It's actually a super cute name for her. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Did you? Wow. Yes, that's did. awesome. Did you get to introduce some of our big girls over Yes, there? I just made my way and introduced everyone. So tell us who these are. Tell us. I know that they would love to hear the generations and so, things like that. Aurora here, our beautiful ginger, is Daphne to Charming. Yeah. And her sister Dorothy's got a puppy. And that's an F1B. This is an F1B. Yeah. Um, and she is about eight months old. Yeah. So just beautiful. And this was actually the last reading that was done. Daphne yeah. Is We're actually going to throw her a retirement party. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I told everybody yesterday, I said, let's do a retirement party. Look at my baby girl looking out the door. Look at my baby girl looking out the door. Oh, what do you think, Evie? Did you find some dogs? All right, so Angie. Hi, baby. Come show me some puppy dogs. So, Jared, we were, our connection was bad earlier, so I want you to introduce your family and your dogs and step outside. It'll be a little bit better. Yeah, Jared is on our um, adoption team, and he's here with his with his family, and so yeah. we're going to introduce them to you guys, little Evie. Okay, so step right here, and then they can hear y'all better. Okay. So. Yay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Jess, that cotton belongs to Jess. You gave, actually, cotton to Jess on one of our videos, and you can see that. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Marguerite Kim said Jared is our puppy finder. She's, yes, yes. And Jared's got, and Jessica have some really good news. Tell us the good news. Have a baby come in. Isn't that awesome? So we have baby golf there too. <laughs> so, th so this is the family and it's good for you guys just to get to meet our team and our, our family members, you know? They love to see that side of you guys. So there's Carol. Carol's hanging out. Yeah, we didn't get to introduce oh yeah, yeah. Morgan. Oh, introduce Morgan. Oh well, we got Aurora being bad for a minute. This oh. is Morgan. She is an F two extra small. And explain an F two to them, because I love this breeding. Okay, so an F two is <laughs> she's Aurora. getting pulled around. <laughs> <laughs> an F two is basically an F one. Her mom is Prudence. Yeah. Who is an F one. Yeah. Her dad is Hudson, who is also an F one. Yeah. So an F one to an F one. So it's still that 50% breeding, 50-50. So, and you still get that loose coat, loose wavy, but it is not shedding. And, you know, we say our F1 shed little to none, but many of ours shed none. You know? Well, and what's really cool about the F2, because you can kind of change up those percentages just yeah. a little bit, we actually can get this smaller size, these really cool colors that you can't get in mm -hmm. F1. Mm -hmm. And we also can um, get this really beautiful coat that is non -shedding. Shedding. And one of um, a couple of people's favorite breedings are F2Bs with a poodle parent. Well, the yeah. way we get F2Bs with a poodle parent is through an F2. That's right, guys. So one day she's going to have little baby, baby, babies. Baby, baby. So she'll breed to. Because, like I mean, a, she's not getting much bigger. No, she's pretty much done. This is Full, a nine month old puppy. Yeah, nine months old. Tipsy, that's your name for today. <laughs> <laughs> Tipsy is having fun. Now, Tipsy is a giant schnoodle. That's an F1B. Let me introduce Judge to y'all. If y'all don't know him, this is my wonderful husband, Judge, and he helped, he's helped make the dream come true here. He likes to stay behind the scenes, right? Yes. <laughs> he's kind of he behind the scene like guy. <laughs> he doesn't, but you know what? People need to see you. All right, so we're going to walk inside and see what's going on in here. Let's see if we can find some more puppies in here. 
Hey, Tricia, why don't you introduce your friends and family and the puppy that you have? We'll go to your table. And this is Tricia. You guys know Tricia. Hey, Laren, how are you? And they actually have, um, if any of you guys have Daisy May puppies, they actually adopted Daisy May. Oh, yeah. So, so y'all love her? Well, that, see, and that's good. Tell them about how we adopt our parents. So, when our parents are done breeding, we actually find families. A lot of times they are local families because we don't want those moms to go on But Jared actually works with her. Yeah. And, uh, and we find families. A lot of times you guys email in and say, I'm not sure about a puppy, but maybe an older dog. So when Trey and Larry first got married, they adopted Daisy Knight. Yeah. And then um, in January, they adopted a twin two year old boy. And we're going to meet them. And Daisy Knight absolutely loves it. And so that's a, that's a testament to the wonderful personalities. And Daisy Knight is so gentle. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Oh, that's what you do when you adopt a baby. Then sometimes you get what you, you reap what you sow. <laughs> All right, so Trisha's going to introduce her family that's here and the dogs that are with her. Let's see the babies. This is Jackson. This Can you is, say hi? Can you say hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is his twin brother, Gabe. Okay, they're saying they're having a hard time hearing, so we'll talk really close to the... Okay, Sorry, so. so this is Jackson and Gabe, my nephews, and this is my brother, Trey, and yeah. he's who has Daisy May, and this is my husband, Danny. Let's walk over to Danny, because she... The cutest Danny? guy here. Oh, yeah. This is my husband, Danny. Hi, Danny. <laughs> And the yes. real show. This is Gianna. Look at Gianna. And you guys, a lot of you know Gianna. Yes. And this is Gianna, and she has, and there's Georgie. Joe Georgie is photo bombing everybody. So what's the difference between an F1 and an F2? Okay, so like they just saw uh, Morgan, so she's a F1 to a bred to an F1. It's still a second generation breeding. It is a second. So basically, the biggest difference is in the F1. Um, you've got a retriever parent and a poodle parent, so that's our first generation. In the F2, you go down one, so you've got two F2 parents. Yeah. So your direct grandparents, like the direct lines of retriever and poodle, yeah. those are actually grandparents instead of direct parents. Yeah. It's still a technical genetic makeup, a 50-50, um, but it's where the retriever and poodle are grandparents. Versus parents. Yeah. That, all right. Thank you for that wonderful explanation. No and I'm going to peek right out here and see what's happening out in the field here. So, so we're having fun. Yes, this one is a puppy puppy. You're she having a, a puppy puppy, which is why I'm holding her because she's bad right now. She's yeah, she's working. She's, but that's, but that's why she's here. Absolutely. And she has the best, most bubbly and happy-go-lucky temperament. And she wants to romp and run. Look, we got now, Haley <laughs> wrapped her on the camera. That cool-looking color over there, that's a blue phantom. That puppy was born solid black. So solid of, black, yeah. That's a Melody Walt puppy. That's awesome. Can y'all hear me better now? Can y'all hear what's going on better? Let me know if y'all can. Uh, we are putting a fence up out there for our romp, and we actually have one where we invite all of you guys, our, our um, you know, Facebook family it can come with your dogs, and we're going to, like, let some of our clients come. There's going to be a limited number, but we are planning on doing this for everybody eventually. But I just wanted to give you guys a little, um, just a heads up on what's going on here and how our dogs are, just to get to see them in everyday life. Sometimes you just see our puppies online and you see the parents, and, but you don't really get to see them being interacted with like this. So I just wanted you guys to see it, see a little behind the scene of what happens here at Smoralia at our family, with our families that work here and, um, and our dogs just hanging out. So hope that this was good and I might pop back in in a little while and let you see a little bit more as some more dogs show up and more people come. You guys have a great day, okay? Bye.